Hello everybody, this is Sarah Perry, psychic medium and spiritual artist. I am reporting here from Spain and we are getting close to June and it is bursting out all over even though we are going to be going Mercury retrograde. Well actually we are from today, from the point that I am now doing this vlog. Hello to everyone who is tuning in right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being patient with me. Um, I have been on and off with this channel. It's just been such crazy energy. So many things changing, which I know has been happening for many, many people. And out here in Spain, what with Brexit going on in England and all these new kind of regulations coming in, um, I've just had to focus on these kind of things. And it's just left me very, very little time to do the channel. So apologies to all out there. And if you would like a regular reading from me, then do uh, get in touch with me very soon. Now, there is an offer on the website at the moment for a 12 month subscription, which is at $44. Um, but if you email me, <gasps> contact me, I will send you details of the original better offer of $33 <laughs> and $11 for a mini read. Um, I will send you that link. It's gonna be for a short time only. If any of you have already got a subscription with me and you'd like to extend it past that time, I will give you it at that same price. And if you introduce a friend, you can get some free stuff too. So do get in touch with me um, via my email. Everything is in the description box below, um, but you can always comment. But I just want to say hi to everyone once again, and let's get on with what's coming in. So we're coming into a new month. We're coming into Mercury retrograde, or we are as we speak. Um, the planets are turning. Da, da, da. Um, so we would really expect everything to slow down. But actually, what I'm feeling is everything speeding up. But there's this kind of um, tug of war thing going on with this energy this time now normally with retrogrades it, there is a kind of tug of war because when mercury slows down everything feels so sluggish we want to kind of get things going so on you know it's like when a room empties you want to fill it up you know or there's a space in your life you want to fill it with something because you can't cope with the peace you know and the mercury time or the retrograde time is really about going inward about looking deeper you know stepping back detaching a little bit now the thing is i feel that most people will want to this month there's this kind of like do you know what i'm just tired i'm tired of the energy I'm tired of what's been going on in the world. I really need a break. You know, um, things are hotting up again. You know, flights are starting to take off. You know, different countries are turning green rather than red or amber. Um, and, you know, st movement is really starting to happen again. Um, and I feel like, you know, this is why everyone's going to really want to be, you know, they, they're kind of tired. They want to go on holiday but all, all of you do, you feel like you want to go off and jet somewhere to get away from this kind of restrictive feel. Um, but you're too tired to kind of push, you know. Um, so, But what I feel with this retrograde, it's like, although there is a kind of sluggish feel and delays and communication issues and all that kind of stuff, it kind of feels fast because it's the other planets kind of kicking in and Jupiter and all that stuff. And, and just, again, the world kind of getting going, which is kind of pushing everything forwards. And you might find this week that a lot of things do get on top of you if you allow them to. So do use the word no to others and yes to yourself. So I'm just going to let's keep this positive and just turn it all around and say, just say yes to you. What are your priorities? What do you need to do? What was your original plan or priority at the beginning of the day or when you woke up or at the beginning of the week or the beginning of the month to reach a certain goal? And I mean important ones, not just kind of just little things that you've just kind of added in because there's nothing better to do. I mean things that are really, really important to you, to your soul, to your growth, to your passions you know, to your value in life, you know, to a better quality of life, you know, if you've kind of, you know, through this eclipse energy kind of had some epiphany or eye opening realization, you know, be reminded of that when these things come at you. Because for some of you, it may feel like um, you're playing some kind of arcade game a little bit, you know, you're kind of like bashing people off and going, I thought I was rid of that, you know, what's going on? Don't fight it. 
or get frustrated or have a tantrum or kind of get wound up by it if you're able to just kind of go okay okay that's coming at me um is this part of what i want to do is this going to help me is this because I'm being too restrictive with my plan? Am I too focused or structured? Should I be more releasing? Take some time to actually analyse it in a calm way. Because when you kind of step back from it that way and go, OK, just give me a minute. Then you'll probably come up with a much better alternative. And in the meantime, as you're coming up with it, the issue might have been resolved. It's like when someone puts something out there, you know, hearsay or says, oh, I might not be able to do this for you next week. You know, you might have to make other alternative relationship. Um, sorry. <laughs> alternative um, arrangements, not relationships, although that might have been a bit of a slip of the tongue there for some of you. Um, but I don't know yet. Um, I haven't spoken to the person, but this might happen. And then your natural reaction would be, oh, my God, I've got to go and change this up. I better organise a lift. I better organise some kind of other arrangement um, above time because, you know, it might all go wrong. What am I going to do? Blah, 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 and go into this panic. And then you get near the time. You've made all these changes. You've emailed all these people of kind of, I'm just giving you a heads up. I've done, you know, this could happen. We don't know. Again, it's all what if or hearsay. And then it's like it's all right and it doesn't happen. Because you didn't actually give it a chance to see what the answer was before, you know, you went off and kind of reacted. So look at how long have I got before I have to do anything? What are the options I could take? Do I have a plan if that doesn't work? What's the best one for me? Rather than kind of panicking. And this is kind of a reaction with a lot of people. It's panic, blind panic. Oh, my God. Got to wear a mask. Got to be restricted. Got to have a vaccine got to rush back to England, you know, got to deal with Brexit, whatever, got to leave my job, got to, you know, go back to something because it's safe, you know, it's kind of like panic, 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 oh my god, this is happening, what if, now, you know, <laughs> it, there, there's these shock reactions everywhere, got to sell my house quick because I've got to get a profit because someone's saying out there that the house prices are going to drop or, you know, I'm going to lose this, I'm going to lose that, but it hasn't actually happened, what I'm telling you now is a lot can happen in the next few weeks. When Mercury goes retrograde, a lot of what you see isn't real. OK, so listen to your gut feeling, listen to your intuition, recognise what your fears are, what is actually triggering these fears. Are these old things coming up? You know, we're coming, we are in this new vibration. Many of you will have already stepped over. I felt a shift in this, this eclipse. I don't know about you guys, but I felt a massive shift. And what I decided during that time was to embrace the negative, which sounds very, very negative. Um, but it was kind of like, what is coming at me? Instead of kind of fighting it again, struggling and having this massive battle, again, what do I do with this? Why is this happening? You know, because all I seem to do is react and get stressed and wound up, so which is what I'm just, I've just been saying. So a lot can change. When the planets are retrograde, there is a got a, it's time to go inward it's time to reassess it's time to restructure um mercury is about communication um connections that kind of thing um you know how you what language you're speaking what language are you giving out to the world right now what do you want to say what's your mission statement you know consider that if you've got something that's already going ahead you know, contract signs and everything, that's great. If it's already in the bag, if it's something you want, you know, it's already going ahead. Um, you may find that it gets dealt with during this time, but just do check all the small print. That's the thing. It's about detail. And right now, without Mercury retrograde or anything else, just step right outside of that. We are being asked to check the details. Some of these lessons that we've had are coming back again from before but they're coming back in a new way it's like well we had that lesson but there's another one that was actually involved in this and it was a lot deeper it's taking you to a higher level you're ready for this now you're ready for this new information now you could have found there were some endings this week if you um received a loss of any kind or if you felt a lot of losses in your life see this as an opening to abundance to manifestations coming true just before something happens just before that tap of wonderful um fulfillment and riches and quality of life comes in we 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 have to create a space for it because it's so big okay so that could mean somebody leaving your life it could mean a loss a literal somebody 
leaving life, passing away. It can mean you losing something that you've been holding on to for a long time, you know, mislaying something. Um, you could um, have a loss in a wage or lose your job or, um, you know, just lose, find that everything's, you know, there's lots of bills to pay kind of thing. Um, think about bills. When you're paying a bill, you're actually clearing the debt. OK, you're clearing it, you're paying it off. So you don't owe anything. All right. So if just before you're coming into a place of abundance, well, if you're in a place of abundance, there isn't any debt, is there? It's all just coming at you. Right. There's a flow. So consider these losses right now. If you're kind of thinking, oh, when's it all going to change? Stop thinking about when it's all going to change and just go. Yeah. OK, great. Bring it on. OK, I've got a space now. Bring on the better stuff. The quicker you get into that um, intention, that mindset, the quicker you're going to open the door. Because what happens is we go, oh my God, oh my God, oh, I don't want this, oh, you know, this is awful, oh, I'm having a bad time. You're basically just shutting the door again, all right? To the point where it was just about to open and go, hey, um, notice repetitious signs right now, serendipities, all those kind of things. Maybe somebody wants you to come out with them. Maybe someone keeps knocking at your door that's annoying or at the moment because you're so focused on what you've lost or how to be secure. And someone's going, hey, hey, do you want to come out for a while? Come and meet me for a drink and just have some time out. And you're like, I haven't got time out. I haven't got time out because, you know, I can't afford to have time out. And I just need to, like, stay in and be secure and safe and keep everything around me, right? But if you'd gone out with this person, they might have offered you a job. Maybe that's the whole point, all right? So think, the universe is, tr is helping us all right now. It's opening the door. It's uncovering the mask of what is really there, what we've been missing the whole time. So be really open to possibilities and anything that ends, just kind of accept it, acknowledge it and heal. If there's pain to be felt, feel it. Just allow it to come out. Do your thing, okay? I don't mean kind of blame yourself and start feeling, oh, it's all my fault, I've just done this, you know, or, oh my God, I'm never going to cope anymore. It's not that, it's not being overwhelmed by it. It's just allow it to come out. Just feel sad. Just say, yeah, I feel really sad about this. It's okay to admit it. Be honest now. This is time to be truthful, be open to life, to just do what is good for you and say yes to you. All right. Say yes to everything you want. Say yes to the best. Say yes to everything that can be better. There is a lot of sudden change that could come where you do suddenly notice details. And I'm seeing celebration around legal contracts this week. I feel like job offers could come back. Um, and this is coming in the next month as well, over the next three weeks. Um Fate is really, really taking a hand now. And I feel like we've stepped into this new place, this new world of being. So accept it, acknowledge it, embrace it. Um, if you've chosen to take one direction and everything is taking you that way, then great, embrace it. Do the best you can. Um, there's more loyalty around relationships, definitely. And there's a lot to be learned and a lot to teach. So remember, whatever you do this week or over the next few weeks, you are leading by example. Um, the way you speak, the way you interpret what you want or the way you present yourself is all important. Think about new perspectives if something isn't working. Now, a lot of females around, abun um, sorry, a lot of abundance around female energy this week. So it could be that you are a female and you're, you're receiving it or it's somebody around you who's a female or who's helping you create abundance. Watch being influenced by, though, money, all right, which sounds weird, but you know, watch how you are motivated, you know, if something is offered or put on the table and it's the money that's great and all the security, ask yourself, am I going to like this though? Am I actually going to enjoy this? Or is this kind of one day a week going to feel like a month a week? All right. Really be honest and true to yourself. This is time to step up and be empowered. If that isn't good enough, then wait for something better. There's something coming in writing for some of you, which is going to be a real surprise and it's not going to be what you thought it was. So if you've been like worrying about someone not being in touch or being odd or behaving weirdly, it it's not the reason you think. All right. I, I think something is going to turn out to be a blessing in disguise. There's opportunities opening up and more secure ones. So if something doesn't fit your criteria, then don't do it. It's simple as that. I'm seeing a lot of love floating around, a lot of opportunities of new things coming in. So again, be open to that. Don't let go of dwelling on the past. I'm just seeing a lot of emotional 
um, heaviness around still from certain people, still people feeling very, very low um, or very kind of uncertain, which is understandable with what's going on. But with a bit of new perspective and just kind of feeling less disjointed by getting more grounded and more connected and more focused on what your aim is and how to progress and not fiddling around with the nitty gritty, silly, petty stuff, you will find a better and easier way forward. The most important thing right now, let go of your anger. It's a complete waste of energy right now and it isn't going to help you. It's just going to block things more. Um, you know, OK, feel angry and upset for a while you could it's okay to be angry but don't hold on to it or just you know just recognize why you're angry because it's not always the way you think you know it's easy to justify why we're angry but not really being honest with ourselves as why so i hope this has helped you guys um it's really good to be in contact again with everybody and i am going to be doing more she says um uh, I am just kind of doing what I feel when I feel, which I think is the best plan right now. And I would guide you all to do the same. But if you'd like a private reading, just go to the website, connect with me or message me. I'll send you details. And I'm wishing you lots of love and blessings. Speak to you soon. Bye for now.